taking place where we have Oliver Slope standing by and he is with Blue Line Futures. So interesting start to the trading month here. We have divergence in the markets with the wheat showing weakness, corn and soybeans not. Why that dividing line between all of them? Well, I think wheat has just been in a, in a downward spiral, uh, so to speak, lower lo lows and lower highs. And what we have thought to be an overpriced market specifically for that Chicago contract, we've been telling clients, if you want to be long wheat, maybe look at that Kansas City contract or play, play that spread between uh, Kansas City and short ch Chicago. I think that could continue to narrow up here in the near future. Now, as you mentioned, corn and beans getting a little bit of a bid, which is nice to see a new month and potentially the start of a new trend. Uh, one thing that we looked at last week uh, with respect to historical data on corn is the fact that you get this March contract that goes into first notice and, and delivery. After that, that tends to mark a near-term bottom. So that is playing out a little bit here this morning. Obviously, we want to see a little bit more confirmation um, through this week's trade. If the outside markets continue to stabilize, I would imagine that to be friendly to corn. But that is going to be a, a very big question mark as we expect that volatility to continue this week and really expand the ranges in all commodity classes, which really represents some great opportunities. And if you're looking at uh, a market like corn where the volatility has been low, looking at some upside calls to cover some of the cash you may have sold might be a good opportunity down at these levels.